Hey guys, it's Alex Williamson here at Redfish Bluefish, which you can visit at redfishbluefish.shop. And I am checking out all the awesome fish he has in right now for the new year, for 2022. Look at all these little pygmy quarries and all these rasboras that look killer. These are really nice chili rasboras that he's got here. And then he's got glow light Danios that I don't think I've ever seen quite so bright. I'm going to have to get some of them too. Wow, they are incredible. And yeah, I don't think I've seen them this colorful. They're European bred glow light or Chopra Danios. Up here we've got the crystal headed and also some of the albino and uh, just beautiful neons. What else did we have here? Some super, um, so these are the Zebra Blue Rio Icana. And when these color up, they are wild. They are super pretty fish. Um, super pretty little mid-sized to small cichlid. This beautiful. Um, he's also got plants and things still. And now he's doing UPS shipping, which is cool. Still got the, um, the iron lace. And then look at all these fricata. I don't think I've ever seen so many fricata in one place. Uh, these are the little pseudomagills, which are just great. He's got lots of females too, which honestly is a problem sometimes. So that's cool. And then he's got lots of these rummy nose, which I'm tempted to get. I don't know. Look at all these CPDs. They're going to go hide. And they've got lots of grazing algae in here. But look at them. They're really nice. They've got the orange finish, which is a little different than mine, which have red with a touch of yellow, most of mine do. But these guys are looking just amazing. And look at all the little Julii Cories in here. They look super good. They're real Julii's, too. They're not the Trilineatus. So that's fun. Then up here, we've got the Hawaiian Moscow guppies that everybody loves, Bentley Pascos. And look at all these panda quarries. That is a herd of pandas. You didn't know pandas came in herds, did you? But they do, and they're adorable. Gotta love them. Look at that. And his penny warts just going wild. This is Japanese money wart or penny wart, whatever you want to call it. Look at this. The rainbow fish are, the thread fin rainbow fish are jousting and showing off uh, when they didn't think I was looking. And they're in there with the gold auto synclus, looking super good. They're very pretty. And these are all, like I said, European strains. So they're different than the American strains we usually see. Uh, also, we've got the Trilineatus with the maze pattern on their forehead. We've got the Black Devil or Mocha Spike Snail. Um, and above that, we've got some really pretty uh, Kubota or Kubotai, however you want to say it, uh, Rasboras. And we've also got, next door, we've got these beautiful uh, tetras, really full grown, good size. And above them too, we've got even more cardinal tetras that look really good. Uh, these are all the European lines, so they look, uh, in my opinion, quite a bit better than the American lines. They're just so vivid. And uh, in here, we've got the uh, abacaxis, uh, or abichoxis. Oh, these are, oh, they're, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, they are cockatoides. I was going to say, are these like orange flash, or what are these, like, technically? Uh, those are double reds. Double reds? Okay. Most of, most of the uh, fish labels right now are not reds. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. And then. so much stuff, we haven't had a chance to, you know. And these guys look marked correct. The Hong's low eyes still look like they're in the same spot. And uh, then we've also, uh, over here, we've got some really pretty guppies as, I mean, 
Jason's always got pretty guppies, so pretty cool. The other thing that he had, oh, that, that we skipped that I just want to show you guys real quickly is the, uh, if it's still out, the lizard, yes, the lizard uh, whip-tailed catfish here. Look at this. Looks like a python. Doesn't look like a your typical orange or red one. Now, the orange and red ones are actually a domestic creation anyways, they think. They're almost positive. Uh, so this could be closer to the wild. I don't know. We, I guess we don't know yet, so more research needed. Uh, and now we'll show you a few more giant herds of creatures, and Jason's working on catching me a few fish while Lara's hanging out and uh, thrilled, just, just on the tip of her toes, edge of her seat, with the excitement. And here, Santa Maria bleeding heart endlers. Really pretty endlers, unique markings, a lot of babies. and a lot, yeah, and a lot of babies. And people will ask, what is this substrate again, Jason? In these oh, things, eco -complete. eco complete, okay. Yeah. And it's just got some uh, some moss growing on it, or, al or algae. It's not moss, but it looks like a nice moss coat. And uh, the little babies love that because all sorts of little infusoria live in there, so they pick off that and eat. Endlers, endlers especially like wild endlers. Especially yeah. If it's, a, if it's a pure endler, this is a pure endler. Yeah. They really, really dig um, eating yeah. algae and yeah. picking it off of stuff. It's actually great for them. They're all visiting you at the glass. It's <laughs> funny that angle. And then here. We've got a million ember tetras looking really good. The, the the lights were just turned on too, by the way. So even though these these colors are bright, they are even brighter uh, at times. So then we've got the spotted garas, which I know are Jason's kind of little buddies. They definitely come when you feed them. And I'm debating getting some of these rubra, uh, ging ginga or jinga rubra because I have the Jinga or Jinja, I don't know how to say it, uh, <laughs> the, the Japanese line, um, but I have the Sulfaris, which are yellow and more green and blue color rather than the red and orange. And then next to these, we've got the really cool, these guys are really bright, I'm debating getting a pair of these. These are the, uh, the, the were these double or triple fire? What is, what was the, or, Oh, those are super reds. Super reds. Yeah, okay. These are the, uh, the names. Agassizii super reds. Yeah. yeah. So then there's the super reds, and then the ones over there that I'm gonna that I'll get to are the, the fire, reds. fire reds. Okay. So the super reds are definitely really intense and good size. If you guys are wanting to buy stuff, it's at redfishbluefish.shop. Hit Jason up. These are some of the most yellow. You guys might not be able to see it, but they're like a golden and yellow color silver t uh, tip tetra. And these guys are one of the best schooling fish there is uh, for their size, for little fish. I'd say that, uh, you know, probably rummy nose, embers, and silvers are probably, silver tips, probably some of the best, better than neons and so forth. So then in here we got lamp eye killies or Pacific, sometimes they're called blue eyes. Uh, they have a different name, Norman's lamp eyes. And then over here, this is another tank I love. We've got all these pandagaras or gara flavata uh, that is, these are just teeny little guys hanging out. They don't have their rainbow colors yet, but these guys get really nice coloring. And they're like little puppy dogs. They will feed out of your hand and they'll they'll clean the dead skin and oils off your hand. It's 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 charming, if not slightly gross, if you overthink it. And over here we've got some of the uh, looks like are these are these a brochus of some sort? Uh, oh, those are a brochus. Yeah. Okay, yeah, brochus. Emerald yeah. Green cats. Emerald green brochus. And there's a single uh, uh, red shoulder heroes in there. Oh, okay. Young one. He's in the back. Yeah. And then another golden synclus, it looks like. Auto synclus. Yep. I think so. And then it, the shop has changed a little bit. I don't want to tease people too much with all the wood and things you have, but uh, now we're focusing on, he's focusing, I should say. I'm not doing any work, on fish. 
So here we've got some more Apistos. This is the Wall de Apisto, and there is quite the selection. These are Trifasciatas here? It almost looks like they've got one line, but I see the three now that you mention it. And then, oh wow, these guys are real big. Are these the heroes mm -hmm. too? Yeah, those are heroes, red shoulder severums, full grown. Ah. Yeah, it looks like maybe it got bit or, yeah. or smashed into something from the yeah, other one. Yeah. 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 So oh. I mean, you've only got about a million fish in here right now. I can't believe any of them might have an injury. Yeah. <laughs> these guys are really pretty, too. Are these the actual banshees? Yeah, those are the Inca 50s. The Inca 50s. So, yeah, these look a little different than these the last are from round. This is a new source. New. This is a new source, and yeah. these are males, you see? Yeah. Are they all male? Or uh, no. So, there's this a few. Would, few yeah, female? this would be a female. Yeah. This would be a female. Okay. A female. Yeah. Um, and we got a male a, a back good, there. A good, a good indicator on, on the, the, the Incas is that uh, the, the females are going to be about half the size, and uh, they'll have very similar coloration, but they'll have almost never any ring around the end of their caudal fin. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. One? That's a female. Almost, no ring? Yeah, it looks like a, an orange, like a, a cross section of an orange or something as yeah. a tail. That's kind of cool. <laughs> And then uh, in here we've got some erythromicrons playing hide and seek. Banjos. Banjos. They're probably buried under there. Oh yeah, always. Always buried. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, I also need to get about six of your long, thin Hong Kong. Uh, okay. Yeah, wow. thanks, Jason. Uh, and then blood fin glass tetras. These guys are awesome. They get a decent size and they're really quick. They're good at schooling but they will jump out of tanks, so beware. They're real good at that. I've got a bunch of those at home. And then we've got the, wow, these are kind of a nice subdued, soft yellow, peach, white, uh, a pisto here. Oh yeah. Are this Siete, or oh, how do you yeah. say the, that? Yeah, exactly, these are the Kaite River. Kaite, okay. Kaite River, see, this is gonna be a male. Okay. They're starting to see yeah. some, some color in them. Oh yeah, the one right behind too. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, this is going to be a female. Yeah. Very cool. They're, yeah, they're a nice, nice they're very, they, They've got some very subtle colors. There's some peach in them. Yeah. And, uh, to be honest with you, they're still coming into their own. Oh, definitely, yeah. So they, they haven't even uh, nice. decided what they want to look like yet. They have a crosshatch pattern on their caudal fin, it's which is strange. really that's, cool. It looks that's, like, one of, that's one of the main ways that you can identify the Kaite River. Uh, that's probably the only fish I've seen with that that I can think of off the top of my head. That's interesting. And then we've got more of the, what are these, Trilineatus or Julii? They look like Trilineatus maybe. Uh, there's, yeah, they're all Julii's, not, yeah. A couple little Julii's in there. Julii's. And these are the uh, black fire endlers. Black fire endlers. Let's see if we can get that to focus. They're really. I don't, I don't believe that those are a wild form at all. No, I don't they, think they, so. They're, they're too symmetrical. I, th those are definitely man made. Yeah, I would say definitely man made. A lot of black. And they do like chasing their babies too. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got these uh, pastel uh, comet sword tails, which these guys look really nice too. They look like. That black just really highlights their sword on their, their tail. That's very cool. Those are I nice. Thought it was a neat, I thought it was a neat, uh, it'd be a neat string to try. I've never had it before. Yeah. And then over here, it looks like we've got the rot punked. Is that what these are? Mm hmm Yeah, those yeah. are. Uh, it's actually uh, an alacrina. Alacrina. An alacrina type. Uh, a I'm tempted to get a pair of these. They're really subdued and like light colored compared to all my other epistos. Well, that's that's it is a very subdued, uh, you know. For instance, compared to a master eye. Yeah. Those are very very loudly colored fish. Yeah. Same with over here. We've got the yeah the McMaster eye Vieja twos, which are super pretty though. I mean, they really are. I've never kept these, but I I've been wanting to. 
it's kind of a they're cool one. It's a bit of a problem. It's actually a bit of a problem with McMasterize is that uh, you know you can collect a McMaster eye from a certain point in a river. They look so different. Right, and then yeah. go a quarter mile down that same river and collect more McMaster eyes, and they're going to look wildly different. Yeah, That's definitely. A with that fish. These guys are beautiful too. Your Japanese gold double sword. Oh, those are pretty. I've seen the blue double swords in the past other places, but I've never seen these gold double swords with this nice peach and orange and yeah, yellow very subdued i like it super cool fins too i mean wow those are neat man jason you have so many fish i want <laughs> yeah, <I> appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here we've got the uh, uh, uh Egazizia fire uh red which these guys are downright orange body too they're totally orange or red depending on how excited they are and uh Okay, and then uh, over here we've got the Vieja, normal ones. Oh, and we've also got some Snow White Plecos. Real pretty. And they're in there with a bunch of Nisenis. Oh, these are Nisenis, okay. You know, I, I've had a couple of these and the, that I got from you. I got two males and they both got so big and bulky. I've got them still, but they're like beefy. The pistols. They're almost like, they're almost, uh, like zebra cards. Yeah, yeah. Really or convicts or something like the way the size is. <laughs> uh, and then up here, we've got the red or, what were they, red or pink chin? Oh yeah, those are the, uh, the red chin panchacks. Red chin. Red chin panchacks. I'm gonna have to get at least one of these. They're very cool, very neat. Pretty fish. Yeah, those are Achille fish uh, from Western Africa. They're, they're a non-annual, so they'll live about three, four years. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's... Uh, they, the males have a reputation of being really vicious if you have males that are full-grown around them. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Uh, they just show off for each other, and they kind of, you know, yeah. chase each other around, but they don't ever actually make contact. It's all bark. Yeah. It's yeah. all bark and no bite. All bark, no bite, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. They can bark all they want. And then down here, what do we have here? Oh, these definitely look like some uh, Episto. Are these Borelli opals or? Yeah, exactly, you got it. Borelli opals. And again, female versus male, very pretty. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these spawn soon in here for you. Uh, yeah, some of, them are, are some of those females are really yellow. Yeah. Very, very yellow. Super pretty though. Good, good deal too for a European food. Yeah. Privacy. Yeah, right? Man, so again, I'll walk folks through, but check out his website to see what he's got currently. He's got a lot of stuff that changes, but he is the only person I know, only shop. I mean, I know him, so that's great, but he's the only shop that I even know of that carries these European varieties, these things like, you know, the long fin, uh, tetras and the uh, types of whether it's even just something like a neon tetra or a, a cardinal tetra but that is just such a quality with color the vividness and careful breeding you know out of whether it's the Czech Republic or Poland or Germany it's just I mean look at these adolfois they look like they were just pulled out of the wild they're so vivid very very cool and some uh, rainbow shiners that still have a little bit of their spawning color but these guys are one of the brightest fish you'll ever see pretty cool fish so that is the little uh, pop-up tour of the shop for today so check out redfishbluefish.shop if you guys are interested in seeing what Jason's got in stock and uh, you can order online and uh, now he's got several different order ordering methods so his shipping is probably going to be the most affordable you'll find anywhere for fish so uh, yeah check that out guys uh, I'll put the links below in the description thanks and Jason any last words to folks oh uh, just uh, stay safe stay healthy yeah. and happy fish keeping right on alright guys you heard the man <laughs>